Okay, so how do we simplify this expression? And that is a topic of this video. So you can see here we have three uh, fractions with variables in the denominator. And what we want to do is to just kind of combine all these fractions into one expression. Uh, technically, we would call these rational expressions, but effectively they're fractions with a variable. So uh, what you need to do, though, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, is know how to simplify these type of expressions. And this is not like an optional thing, okay? Uh, it's very much on an order of, let's take this word simplify here for a second. If you gave your teacher your final answer 300 over 600, they would not be fond of that answer. Even if it was technically correct in terms of the value, you want to write one half, okay? You want to reduce your work or uh, write your final answers or whatever you're dealing with in the most simplified form. So uh, for those of you out there are taking any sort of math course, just know that it's really like a, not like an optional thing to simplify. Some of you are like, eh, well, I'll just deal with the way it is. Well, no, you're going to be asked to uh, simplify um, all sorts of expressions in algebra. So we're going to go ahead and tackle this one here in this particular um, video. And I'm going to show you two approaches that you can take. Okay, so if you think you could do this, go ahead and pause the video, put your answers into the comment section. But if you're not sure, stick around. I'm going to show you two ways to approach this problem. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for a long time, several decades. And I'm telling you right now, there's no students out there that can't be successful in math. Okay, So if you're failing in math, it doesn't have to be that way. So it requires two things, though, to be successful in math. One, you have to be a, you know, put the work in. right? If you're not willing to do the homework, take notes, well, then you can't be successful in mathematics. It's pretty much the way it goes. However, the second thing a student needs is great math instruction, super clear and understandable and comprehensive. That's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, check out my Math Help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. It will help you out big time. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with the math section, uh, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, um, ASVAB, or Teacher Certification Exam, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, have excellent middle and high school math uh, courses for homeschoolers. So check that out if you homeschool. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to help me out by liking it and subscribing to my channel. Okay, so let's get into how to simplify this expression. And I'm going to show you two ways. Okay, there's basically two approaches that you can kind of um, uh, look at this problem. And you really need to know both. Okay, so two ways to think about it. The first is we're dealing with fractions, so you need to know how to find the lowest common denominator. So if we're looking at these denominators, just like any other, let's just matter of fact, let's um, uh, make a, uh, a problem without variables. We'll make something similar to this. So let's say we had two fifths minus one seventh plus uh, three fourths. Okay, so we'll take the variables out. So how do we deal with this situation? Well, if we look at all the denominators, we're talking about adding and subtracting fractions. Uh, you need to find the lowest common denominator. Okay, So how do you find the LCD? Well, you know, you got to be strong in arithmetic in order to be strong in algebra. Um, I have tons of videos on how to find the LCD when it comes to these type of uh, fractions just with numbers. But when you're um, uh, putting variables into the mix in terms of of your uh, denominators that you need to find the LCD with. It gets a little bit more involved. I also have videos on that as well. So if you know how to find the LCD, we can rewrite all these fractions um, using uh, the LCD, and then we can go ahead and add, subtract, and simplify that. So that's the first way. Now, let's suppose you're like, hmm, I don't really remember how to find the LCD. Uh, is there another way? Yes, I'm gonna call it the shortcut method. This is one of my most favorite techniques in mathematics. I call it the bow tie method. It basically looks like a bow tie. Uh, when you think of a bow tie like this, uh, that kind of general shape, right? You don't see those ties around too much, but that's a bow tie method. You'll see this pattern here. Um, if you want to know more about this particular method, check out my videos on adding and subtracting fractions. Anything that has to do with fractions on my YouTube channel, I teach this um, uh, in those particular videos. And those videos are very, very popular. There's a lot of people looking for 
nice shortcuts, especially when uh, you're dealing with fractions. This is one of the best little tricks, hacks, shortcuts in mathematics. So I'm going to show you how that works here in a second. So we're going to go ahead and um, use both approaches. And let's go ahead and start off with the LCD. Okay, now, first things first, we're looking at these fractions. We have 5M, M, and 4M. They're not the same. So what is the LCD? Okay, we're going to have to rewrite this uh, such that each of these fractions has the lowest common denominator. Well, the LCD happens to be 20M. Now, if you looked at these numbers 5 and 4, you might have been thinking 20, and that's pretty good. But uh, you need to know how to find the LCD when it comes to uh, variable uh, expressions in the denominator. And this can get quite involved. This falls under the uh, topic rational expressions, rational equations. And uh, again, finding the LCD, this is pretty easy, this particular problem. But if you don't know how to do this, check out any one of my algebra courses like Algebra 1 or Beyond. Um, or, and I believe, I'm almost positive I have some uh, YouTube videos on this as well. But uh, we're not going to discuss or go in to how to find the LCD. I'm just kind of assuming that you know that the LCD here would be 20M, okay? Because this is a big topic in and of itself, all right? So when you're uh, learning how to find the LCD, start with basic arithmetic, okay? Just take out the variable part of it, get that down, and then, you know, continue on and deal with the, um, uh, finding the LCD with variable expressions, okay? So if you're confused about that, you're not alone, a lot of students are. But let's assume that you know that the LCD here is 20M, the lowest common denominator. So that means that we have to rewrite each one. Let me go ahead and just put this uh, down here, right here. Okay, we need to rewrite each one of these fractions such that the denominator is 20M. Okay, so you can see here, this is the final result. So let's take a look at this first fraction. We have 2 fifths M. So to make a 20M down here in denominator, I need to multiply it by four. So remember, when you're um, rewriting fractions to get a common denominator, um, so if I'm going to multiply the denominator down here by four, I have to multiply the numerator by four. So just make sure you're, you're mul multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the same number. So our first fraction is eight over 20 M. Okay, remember we're multiplying here. So our second fraction is one over M. How do I get a 20 M? Well, I'll just multiply by 20. Uh, down here in the denominator, so I have to multiply the numerator by 20, so I'm going to get a 20 over 20m. And then last but not least, our last fraction here was 3 fourths m. So to get a 20m in the denominator, i got to multiply by 5. So that would be 5 times 4m, of course, that would be 20m. And then i got to multiply the numerator by 5, so that would be 15 over 20m. Okay, so again, uh, we needed to understand how to find the LCD. Okay, which is 20M, and then rewrite these fractions such that these respective fractions have 20M as their denominator. All right, so now what do we do? Well, we, we're going to handle this just like any other fraction problem. If they all have the same denominator, common denominator, what we can do is simply just deal with the numerator. So this would be 8 minus 20 plus 15. This is how, remember, when you're dealing with variable fractions, okay, in algebra, you're following the same uh, principles, uh, procedures as you're dealing with uh, arithmetic, okay? So I have the same denominator, so I can simply just add or subtract the respective numerators. So 8 minus 20 plus 15 will give me 3 over the denominator, of course, 20m. This is our answer. Okay, so if you got that answer, well, that's excellent. As a matter of fact, I'll give you a nice little happy face, a check mark, an A plus, and 100% for getting that right. Nice job. Okay, so again, if you're like struggling with LCD, uh, you know, you need to learn this, okay? But there is another way that you should always have a plan B, and this one is uh, going to be kind of like a shortcut. Now, it's going to seem longer, but let's say you forgot... Um, how to deal with the LCD, or like, oh, I just forgot how to do that. Well, this is my uh, bow tie method, okay? Well, it's not mine, but I love to teach it because it comes in so handy. All right, so we're going to use this bow tie method. This is a shortcut method when you're dealing with fractions uh, for adding and subtracting. Basically, you can add any, add or subtract any fraction without, okay, with, with uh, not finding 
the LCD. Okay, so you need to check out my um, videos on fractions and really, really learn this. This is super uh, important to know for algebra. Okay, all right, so here is our same problem. So I'm going to go ahead and um, look at this problem. Like, well, I have three fractions, and I'm going to add, or sub, uh, I'm going to take uh, two of these um, fractions, and I'm going to just kind of simplify those, and then I'll um, finish up by adding the last. In other words, I'm going to get the answer by doing this first. Then when I get that answer, I'll take in, and I'll just go ahead and add it to this last fraction. So this is what we're going to do, and we're not going to be using the LCD. We're going to be using this bow tie method. All right, so how does this method work? Well, it works like this. So let's go ahead and subtract. Remember, this method works for both adding and subtracting fractions. And you have to follow a specific pattern. Okay, so here you can see I'm putting this in parentheses uh, first. So I'm putting this in brackets. Remember, you do uh, whatever is first in grouping symbols in uh, mathematics. So you start from the bottom right, this fraction here, this denominator and you multiply this way. It's always the same pattern. So it's this times this. So m times two is two m. Then you're gonna to go to the bottom left. That's five m, get this denominator, and you're gonna multiply that way. So you can see the little crisscross pattern right there. Okay, so five m uh, times one is five m, and this is a subtraction or difference um, operator here. So it's going to be 5m minus or 2m minus 5m. Okay. So it goes this times this. Okay. That's this right here, this 2m, because this is a subtraction. You're going to put that subtraction operator, then 5m times one is 5m. That forms our numerator. So when you do this and this, that's going to form our numerator. And then to get our denominator, it's simply going to go ahead and multiply the respective denominators. So just go this way. 5m times m is 5m squared. So, you know, you don't have to really think about this. Here, let me go ahead and just show you this here again real quick. And you just want to know this pattern like perfectly. You're going to be like, okay, uh, I'm just trying to subtract these two fractions. This times this, that's 2m. Uh, 5m times 1, that's 5m. This is subtraction. And then 5m times m is 5m squared. So, Let's go ahead and simplify this. 2m minus 5m is negative 3m over 5m squared. I can cross cancel 1m. So look here, 5m squared is the same thing as 5m times m. That's m squared, just to make this super clear. So I can cross cancel one of these factors here, and that leaves me with negative 3 over 5m. Okay, that's the result of subtracting these two fractions. So I'm going to take this now and add it to our last remaining fraction. Now, a lot of you might be saying, well, this is a lot of work. Well, I'm, you know, it might seem like a lot of work because I'm explaining this to you. And it might be actually uh, more steps involved than just knowing how to find the LCD and doing the problem that way. So I'm not advocating for this. But if you've got to um, deal with the L or if you've got how to find the LCD, you can always use this technique to get the uh, um, answer right. Okay, and, you, and this technique that I'm showing you, this bow tie method here, is just an awesome method with dealing with fractions and algebra. So you need to know it as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so here, uh, let's see. So we did this problem, and the answer we got was negative 3 over 5m. Okay, so let's make sure you remember that. That's what we did when we uh, subtracted those two fractions. So our problem now becomes uh, uh, the result of doing this, we're going to add it to this fraction, okay? So if we do that, it's going to be the same as adding all three of these fractions up. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to use the bow tie method again. So let's go ahead and do that now. So it's going to be, remember, I'm going to start in the bottom right, 4m times this uh, uh, numerator, this pattern specifically, not this way, this way first, 4m times negative 3 is negative 12m, 5m plus 3, that's going to be 5m times 3, that's 15m, 15m, and I'm adding, so that's my numerator. And then to get my denominator, I'm simply going to go and multiply this way, 5m times 4m is 20m squared, so negative 12m plus 15m is 3m over 20m squared, I can cross cancel one of the m's, and it leaves me with 3 over 20m. Okay, let's go over here and notice that 
it is the same answer, 3 over 20m. Okay, so as I promised, you know, there's two approaches to do a problem like that. You need to know both, okay? And this right here, finding the LCD of this particular problem is very, very easy, but uh, it gets far more interesting um, in algebra in terms of uh, finding the lowest common denominator to add and subtract rational expressions, solve rational equations. This right here is, you know, not so easy for students. So um, you need to really master all uh, fractions, okay, whether it's basic arithmetic or things where there are a, uh, there's variables involved. Uh, we call those rational expressions in algebra. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you out. And if that is the case, again, consider smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. If you need any additional help, okay, in this, I'm gonna recommend three things or any algebra topic. One, I have a ton of YouTube videos, basic math to calculus on my uh, YouTube channel. So go through those to my math um, help program. I have all level of mathematics from foundational math all the way up to pre-calculus, super comprehensive uh, courses that can hit, uh, that's my best math help. And then uh, three, I also have math notes. You can check those out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave links to those in the description of this video as well. They are a good reference for a lot of the stuff that I am talking about. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.